Hi, my name is Will and welcome to the Drum Room Sessions for today. We have a band in here called Close to the Bone from Auckland. How are you guys? Yeah, awesome. Good, good. All good, yeah. yeah. Could you guys introduce yourselves for the uh, people watching and also mention the member who is not present? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm Lorenzo. Um, I'm the vocalist. Um, uh, yeah, our drummer Shy is not, is not here, unfortunately. Um, yeah, he's moving house, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm Oscar, the guitar player. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why are you wearing glasses, Oscar? Oh, fuck, I'm a bit of a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> tired. I'm Connor, I'm the bass player. I'm Sergio, I'm the other guitar player. You have such exotic names. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I've been I've been told that before. My yeah. my my dad's especially fond of Lorenzo's name. Lorenzo Hazelwood. My my mom's fond of your name, Sergio. You know? I like your brother's name. <laughs> Here's the weirdest fingernails in the world. Shut up. Here's the weirdest fingernails. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, he calls me. He calls like me turtle shells. He calls me a Chernobylian mutant because I come from Ukraine. Right. Yeah. Oh, so they always call me a failed experiment. It's handy for shit. digging, I suppose. When yeah. he found out, when he like first saw, he's like, "How the hell do you play guitar like that? Isn't it hard? Isn't it like so hard to play guitar?" And then this guy's like, "Is like, oh, bro, it must be so easy to play guitar." Yeah, yeah. Hmm. One of the. I've other, had right? I've had other people ask me, "Are your fingers like that because you play guitar?" I'm like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> They've always been like that. Yeah, it's a, I don't know, a genetic thing, like, my dad, my dad's got, like, has ones like that, you know, so, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got half normal ones, so. It's good to be unique. So I don't know, I don't know what it, it does, I don't know what it does for my guitar playing, if anything, but yeah, it is what it is. Lovely. So, could you, could you tell me about the band, the style of the band, you know, how long you've been around, things like that? Yeah, yeah, so we've been around for about six-ish months, um, I think most of us meet each other at Mains, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I meet you at, at, I meet you at, at Ding, Dong Ding Dong and, and on New Year's. Um, yeah, so we're sort of like rock, grunge, metal kind of hybrid. So you're doing the Battle of the Bands at the moment. Yeah. So uh, you just played a show at Ding Dong, I think it was Ding Dong last night. Yeah, uh, Thirsty Dog. Thirsty Dog. Thirsty Dog, was it? Yep. Yeah. My bad. How was the gig? Yeah. We went down all good, eh? Yeah, Got man. through to the semi-finals. Pretty stoked about that. Yeah, yeah. that's on the 9th of November, by the way, if anyone's yeah. around. Did you say you're playing Ding Dong tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah actually. Oh, you got that. Open for um, Shepherd's Rain. Back yeah. to back. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Quite chock a block for gigs next week as well. We've got yeah. three in a row. Three in a row, in a row next yeah. week. Yeah, tell them, tell them the gig dates. Eighth of November's at Whammy Bar. Ninth is at Anthology Lounge. That's the Battle of the Bands. And tenth is Thirsty Dog with Undercut. And sixteenth is Ding Dong Lounge with Forsaken Age. And 14th is, is it, oh... Uh, 14th December. It's Thirsty Dog, I think, with Downfall of Humanity. Yeah. Okay. Busy, so. busy. Every band needs a Connor to remember all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> he remembers <laughs> set lists. Yeah, we don't have a set list, like, yeah. on the ground either. They just ask me. Yeah. It's what, like, oh, what are we playing? Like, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. we're just going, we don't even know a set list. I was like, what yeah, song the we playing band, The band encyclopedia. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So what's the, what's the best gig you've, you've, you've played so far, although you've only been around for a while? What was the best one? Tauranga uh, a yes. few weeks ago, we went and uh, played at um, Totoro Street. Totoro Street yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was the best stage setup we've definitely ever had. The biggest stage by far as well. Yeah. Mm. We're used to playing the, the the drum set had its own stage, you know. Like, yeah, right, right, rise, you know. Um, the crowd was huge because it was a Metallica cover band that we were opening for. Mm. And yeah, it was a Metallica tribute it. night. Um, there was, I don't know how many tickets, like at least 250 or so tickets sold. Yeah. Did you when throw a Metallica we, song into your set? Uh, no, we couldn't take it away from yeah. those guys. I was, called, keen, I was keen to start kind. playing like the Enter Sandman riff or something. But, uh, <laughs> don't know. Thought it might be a bit cheesy. Yeah, we pretty much got there through a Facebook, like, they, they yeah. made a post, My Damn Kind made a post, they're like, hey, we need an opening band, comment, you know, and get all your get all your people to, to like and share it all, and yeah. the most people will um will get it, and, and we, we got it, so. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of friends. Yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was a really cool experience, yeah. actually, just going down there you yeah. know, as a band. And the sound was awesome, too. The sound was mean. Yeah. We got to use their rigs. We got to use the other band's rigs and yeah. better than ours. We were talking before I pressed record, and you said that you got you got a recording coming up. We have friends at Mains, and they've got, you know, assignments to do. And, um, yeah, so we're going to go in there and, and record a single, um, probably release it as a single, maybe look into getting, like, a little video done or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going in there on, on the 10th of November, same day as our gig at Thirsty Dog. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You're cutting it fine. Yeah, busy, busy. so, uh, 
Yeah, it should be out in the next probably you know yeah couple of weeks. Probably got to try sort of and work on getting um, more songs done next year. We'll just save up some money and um, try mm. get the try get an album done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sounds pretty good. So we just want to get something out as soon as possible, just like so we have something to advertise ourselves with as well. Sure. So it's not like just mm. our Facebook page. We're close to the bone. We need like yeah. actually here's our music. I find when I go to check out bands like it's particularly new bands, if there's no sort of video or, or no music links mm. or something like some, mm. something to Bandcamp. We have a couple of demos on um, on SoundCloud, just demos I we recorded at my house, you know. I find that quite often like bands will, will send me requests to like their page mm. uh, or like their band and then I'll yep. go and there's like there's, there's not much to assess. I see, know, yeah. Yeah, what it is even, yeah. So it's always a good idea to have as much as you can on there. People yeah, as much as we've been focused, we've been focused like a lot on the live shows. Like, we've got like, heaps in November um and we've had like quite a few last month as well so i think it's time you know after everything like blows over with all these live shows we got to crack down have some hearty writing sessions yeah for sure yeah, yeah. and yeah just hunger get some, down get some, get some, get some shit out there, there. Some yeah. more songs, yeah. how did you guys meet did you all meet at mains did you i went to mains but i didn't know this dude yeah, we and he went to mains and our drummer shy went to mains i actually played in a band for a couple of weeks with our drummer shy like yeah. like a year before this band was even a thing yeah, and, me and um, me and Oscar yeah. were in a band as well before this yeah. band was a thing. Um, band called the Old Jeez Louise. Yeah, <laughs> um, that didn't work out so well. So after that was all, you know, in the dust. Uh, we tried to look for something new, like to carry on. Me and Oscar loved jamming with each other. Um, so yeah, found found something good. You know, Lorenzo happened to be at Mains as well. I didn't know him at the time, but. Um, you know, Oscar introduced me, and then we had Shy, who introduced us to Connor, and that's pretty much how everything started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I met you in the back of an Uber, going from Ding Dong to Miranda's house. To Miranda's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, we got wasted, and I remember you played a guitar, and I thought you were shit. Yeah. <laughs> but it was just because you were wasted, and the guitar was like a 1927 classical with broken strings. Yeah. And then he sent me a demo of, of a song and said, hey, do you want to sing? And I was like, holy shit, this is, this is cool. So you mentioned that, that Oscar's a bit of a, bit, bit of a gearhead, is yeah. that right? Yeah. You consider yourself a... Tell us about your gear. Um, I just like my guitars mostly, that's probably the best thing. I got Les Paul, Chapman. Chapman, uh, Tell really us more about the Les Paul. What year? Come on. Oh, it's 1998. It's, quite, quite, it's my baby. Vintage. Like that. Yeah. Black. It's a black one, yeah. It's all dirty as hell. But, you know, it does the job. It's the workhorse. Do you find that modern Les Pauls, or actually Les Pauls in general, are, are, are as good as their name claims they are? Mine's generally been pretty well. Like, it doesn't go out you in too much. Apart from Touch of wood, apart from last night, yeah. It's nice and tight and heavy. Cool. Yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to add or anything you'd like to say to the people watching? Like, come and see us? Or? Well, come yes, do come out. and see us. Check us out on, on Facebook and, and Instagram and stuff. Come to our shows. Come to our shows. What are they again? We all miss the 3rd, which is tonight. But there's 8th of November, 9th of November. We need support, battle of the bands. There'll probably be more after that. We'll what's, the, what's the venue for that? Uh, Anthology Lounge. That's yeah. on Key Road. Then 10th of November... That's at Thirsty Dog, and then 16th, so at Ding Dong or Forsaken Age. That one will be a pretty big one. Yeah. So this guy is like a little, a little well of information. And what's the other one? And then 14th of December with Downfall of Humanity. That's at Thirsty Dog as well. Can you actually say them backwards now, starting with the 14th of December? <laughs> December 14th, Downfall of Humanity. Don't November 16th, <laughs> Ding Dong. November 10th, Undercut. November 9th, Battle of the Bands. November 8th, Whammy Bar. Yeah. You've got, you got that next gen version of the human brain. That is the yeah. ultimate test of, 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 just of a person's version. memory if they can recite stuff backwards. And he's hung over as well. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> Excellent. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks, thanks very much for coming in to see me today and best of luck with your shows. And I hope you win Battle of the Bands and get that million dollars. Cheers. And, Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah. Right. All right. I'll well, catch you next time. Cheers. Yep. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>